Well, great evening, everyone. Thank you, thank you for all the lovely comments. You know, I started this uh, a few weeks ago because I wanted to support the drag and uh, the gay community because they've just been getting so much um, ridiculous hate. So I started doing the makeup and doing the wigs and, and putting it out there. Well, not too long after that, I had my thyroidectomy and now I sound like a drag queen. <laughs> I lost my singing voice. It's totally gone. Hopefully I get it back but my voice is not coming back and I'm already about, um, I'm six weeks out of surgery and it hasn't come back yet. And uh, so what happened? I, my, my surgeon was very good. It, it's not due to my surgeon. What happened was the anesthesiologist used too large of an intubation tube um, because I've got very small throat and he used way too large of an intubation tube and it damaged my vocal cords. Now, I hope I get my voice back, but the reality is it may not come back. One person that I do collabs with um, we had to laugh because she had had surgery, different type of surgery, but the same thing, that the intubation tube that they used damaged her vocal cords and she's never gotten her original voice back. So we had to laugh and we said, we sound like two frogs out there croaking <laughs> together. <laughs> Cause my voice is like a, her voice is the same type of thing. Um, those that know me know my voice was much higher. And I did get some flack from that actually. On one time I was doing the collab, they, they, one woman was telling me, oh, you need to have some voice things because your voice is just too high. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy with my voice now. <laughs> Now we do joke about it. Um, ones I do the collab with go, well, you may have lost your singing voice, but you could do a sex hotline now. <laughs> I'll pass on that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the last thing I wanna do in life is to do a sex hotline. But uh, yeah, it's just so odd, you know, when you're used to talking and you're used to singing, I cannot even get the first note out of a song. Um, it is 100% gone. Um, and I was doing opera, I was doing all sorts of music, and now I can do nothing. Now I can still do my Native American flute that I can get, I can still do that but the singing is totally gone at this point. And whether I'll get it back or not, I don't know. Um, we'll see. But uh, anyway, thank you for all your very kind comments. Like I said, I began this, I, you know, I just figured, why should the drag queens have all the fun? You know, now I did have, um, I did have, some video up and this one lady uh saw you know the wigs and the makeup and then she she said you're a man <laughs> you know I mean? well i don't know when wearing wigs and the makeup makes you a man but okay <laughs> i just had i thought that was the funniest comment i had ever gotten in my life that i was I was a man in drag. <laughs> no, I'm a woman in drag, <laughs> but that's okay. I guess with my voice lower, I could pass as a man in drag. <laughs> so little did I know when I started 
to to do the wigs and the makeup and support the drag queens and the drag community and, and LB, LBGTQ community. <laughs> that, uh, that I was going to have a voice that wound up like three steps lower than my regular voice and that it was going to, um, it looks like it's pretty much permanent because it has not gotten any better since the surgery. It doesn't hurt any longer, um, but my voice does get um, tired. It is an effort to speak. Um, it does get, um, again, it gets tired uh, when, when I'm talking um, very much. So when I get up in the morning, I never know exactly what's going to come out. Of <laughs> Always an adventure. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Uh, I do love doing the collabs every Saturday. I do a collaboration with Hogarth in England, and Lena, she's all traveling all over now. She's usually in Australia, but now she's in, what was it, Brazil? Is it Brazil? So she's in now, and she came, she was in Hawaii, then she went to Portland, then New York, now she's in, I think it was Brazil, um, or was it Argentina? Anyway, she's out there doing the tango. <laughs> so she's having a great time. Today, she said when she was 14, she learned to tango on roller skates. Now, I would pay to see that one. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the very kind comments. I do so appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I'm learning to live with my new voice. Uh, I'm I'm actually not that, um, I think people think I'm depressed about it because losing my singing voice, that was a big part of my life, um, but actually, no, I'm not. Things happen in life, and you just go on and be creative in another way. So this opened up. And my singing voice took a powder. Now, if I want to sing, I'd have to lip sync to my own songs. <laughs> How little did I know, supporting the drag queen community, that I would wind up having to lip sync to my own music. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh at la at life, you know, you just never know what it's going to hand you and all you can do is laugh at the, the absurdity of it and say, okay, well, what's next? I bought the ticket to this ride, so we'll see what happens next. Anyway, thank you for all your lovely comments. I do so appreciate it and, uh, you know, we continue forward. You know, if you if one door closes, another door opens, and no matter what it is, you lose, you gain something else in the process. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online. If you're interested in tarot readings, I do mostly political readings now. Not my favorite, but that seems to be what people are mostly interested in the political reads but i'm just going to tell you if you happen to be a big trump fan you will hate 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 my page but if you're interested in tarot reading sometimes i do crime things sometimes i do other readings as well um it's lady g tarot and my drag drag persona name is Miss Kitty Cat Tarjay. <laughs> Everybody, if you're doing drag stuff, you got to have a name. So my name is Miss Kitty Cat Tarjay. Yes. <laughs> the Queen of Target. <laughs>
anyway, uh, it's all in fun. You know, we need to laugh. We need to have a little bit lighter days because so many people are taking this stuff so seriously and they get so depressed. And, you know, life is too short to be depressed. You know, this too will pass all the stuff we're going through. So enjoy it while you can. And I'll see you online. Thank you for all your love. I appreciate it.